So in this exercise, we will predict the products of Diels Adler reactions when the diene is a cyclic compound. So in this case, actually, the compounds that are formed are bicyclic compounds, and we're going to talk about the endo and exo compounds. Now let's start from the beginning. So if you have a cyclic diene, we can represent this on this side. And when it's reacting with the dienophile, you can imagine the dienophile approaching to this from the bottom. Now, if we draw the mechanisms, actually first let's number the carbons. So this will be carbon number one, two, three, four, and five. And here we can say, let's say carbon A and B. And now let's draw the mechanism. So first we're gonna break this bond and we'll make a new bond here between carbon number one and carbon B. After this, here we're going to make a new bond between carbon number four and carbon A. And finally, the last one is moving this here, making a new pi bond. And remember, this is all happening at the same time because the deals all there is a concerted mechanism. So the product of this is a bicyclic compound. And we want to draw the five-membered ring and show one carbon pointing up. Let's put the numbers. So here, one, two, three, and four. And this is going to be the double bond. And now carbon A and B are pointing down. So this will be carbon A and B. And this is going to be our bicyclic compound. So overall it has six members, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So six carbons in this ring, like for any other this other reaction, it is just a bicyclic compound and this is the way we draw it. Now the most important question here is whether we're going to point this group of the dienophile, the aldehyde, to this side, or we're actually going to point it down as such. And the answer to this question is that they're both formed, but there's a preference uh, depending on the conditions that we're running the reaction. Most of the time, this product where the group is pointing towards this big ring, towards the double bond, that's how you can imagine this. So it's underneath this ring, this is the endo product. And endo product is going to be the major product. This is the exo product because this is pointing away from the ring. And most of the time, this is going to be the minor product. But let's see how this happens and why we have this preference. So right here on the top, the exo product will be formed if this carbonyl group is pointing away from the ring. So as we can see visually, this pointing to the right side, here again is pointing to the right side, and it's pointing away from this bigger ring. On the other hand, the endo product will be forming if we have the dienophile in orientation when this group is pointing towards the ring. So it turns out that in this case, there is a favorable interaction between the orbitals of the carbonyl group and on this carbon, and this is lowering the transition state of this reaction. So when they are oriented in such direction, in such orientation, the transition state is lowered. So this will be the energy diagram, for example, for the endo product. So this will be endo. And if the reaction goes by the mechanism that is forming the exo, the transition state is higher because we don't have this favorable interaction anymore because now these orbitals are pointing away. But when the molecules are able to overcome this barrier, they actually go lower in energy compared to the ones that are in the endo product and they're forming the exo product and this is thermodynamically more stable. Now, the reason for this is simply because the group is pointing away from the ring. This is going to be stable for the steric reasons. This is not as stable, right? So we want to mention here that exo is more stable and this is less stable. So because we do the reactions most of the time at not at elevated temperatures, the endo turns out to be the major product because, because more molecules have sufficient energy to overcome this barrier. So in short, endo is the kinetic product of the diels alder reaction where exo is the thermodynamic product of the reaction. An exo product will be formed at higher temperatures. But to keep this short, most of the time in the test, when you're asked to predict the product of the diels alder reaction, when you have a cyclic diene, the endo is going to be the preferred major product. And now let's erase all of these and we can discuss a little more about the stereochemistry of this reaction. For both the endo and the exo product, it is also possible to have the formation of the enantiomer. So simply, if I put the aldehyde group now on this side, then this is going to be 
then this is going to be the enantiomer of the endo product. So two endo products and two R enantiomers. On the other hand, for the exo as well, if we put the group on the other side of the ring, then you'll have enantiomers of two exo products formed. And now let's do the next ones, where we won't go so much into the detail of the mechanism, but simply we'll draw the bicyclic compound and put the groups on the endo and exo position. And assuming that the reactions is carried out at lower temperatures, we're going to say that endo is going to be the major product.